Hey, no family. I want to start off by saying that we are not froze. We're just on the screen for now. But yes, hey y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Listen, your girl is back today with a long awaited video. I know I thought I forgot about y'all, but I did not. It was just a little bit delayed. We are back in today's video with the tutorial of my nail setup, y'all. I know y'all been asking forever, but look, today's the day, all right? <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you all just like a little snippets of how it looks previous um, and then like transition it into how it looks now a little bit. But the full like detail is going to be like on the official tour that you all are going to see um, a little bit. Not even that much later. It's going to be a couple of like little snippets and clips of how it looks previous and what I did to transform it so without further ado y'all let's get right into the video all right y'all so this is all of the madness that I had going on before I redid this whole space I also got this clip on a good day where you know everything wasn't organized how it normally is and put back in its place and y'all was just so over it and so ready for a new space I have so many products, y'all. So everything was just like stacked up and just just a mess, honestly. Um, I do not be joking with y'all either when I tell y'all that I'm a nail addict. I think a lot of us are, but I've got it really bad, y'all. And I'm not afraid to say that. But anyway, y'all. So these are just a few clips of how it looked previous, and we're gonna go ahead and transition it. I'm not gonna. I thought I had like a lot more clips than I did of me like redoing stuff. But anyway. Pretty much, I started first with tearing everything off the walls. Like, that yellow is wallpaper. Um, even, like, the little nail stuff. Like, those are really cute. My little nails that I pop off were up there as well, my displays. But, yeah, I took it off the wall. I went ahead and put up this really cute pink brick-like wallpaper. Um... And like I said, I pulled everything out of the drawers and I just reorganized everything. I got a new, I got some new lighting and just a few new things. Um, and these are just like a couple little clips of how it's looking so far. Already looking way better than the madness that I had going on before. And then I had this crazy idea of making the mirrors that I had on my wall previous into flower mirrors. And I totally got the idea from this girl here. I'm going to put it on the screen where I got the inspo from. Um, and yeah, so I went flower crazy, y'all. And I made a bunch of... Um, I hand made a bunch of flowers um, using clay, but that's how the mirrors turned out. I think it turned out so cute, y'all. And this is pretty much how the entire area turned out, y'all. I'm super obsessed. Like, I am absolutely in love with it. It's still all the same things that I had before, but a little bit more condensed and organized and a couple of little things added. So yeah, we're going to get into all the details now because I know you all always ask me to show my products and how I have them organized. So let's go. Alrighty y'all, so we're going to start from the left side and work our way all the way to the right. So starting off in this corner here, the first thing is my infamous luxury charm collection. Now these are not all of my charms. I know you probably think that they are, but they are not. These are just all of my metal charms, gold and silver. I have all kind of charms in here all kinds you name it i actually have a live playback of part one and part two on my channel of me actually displaying or putting every single charm that i own pretty much on display so that i can remember what i have i have so many it's so easy to forget what i do have so if you're interested in that and seeing them like up close and in detail i do have those videos and then this is just my tub of gloves that i have right here ready and handy for filming and let's get into these drawers below y'all so in this first drawer y'all know how we all have that i don't know about y'all but that miscellaneous drawer yeah that's what that is it's like miscellaneous things in there the next drawer i have some acrylics i have some valentino some not polish some alino supply and then some natalie carmona acrylics and then in this next drawer here i have some royalty nail supplies and some mia secrets also, this really cute cart, this entire cart is from Michaels, if you all want me to link it, or anything else, please, you all, in this video, if there's anything at all you all are interested in, um, please comment it, and I will definitely link it for you all if there's, like, a link for it. All right, and the next drawer there was some more royalty nail supplies. This one here is some acrylic creamery acrylics, and then this drawer here, I have my press-on things, like, all of my things to make press-ons. I have some more tips in the next drawer, and then this drawer here, I have some more acrylics, some from Zoe Eve clawly and just like some random brands of acrylics and then that drawer right there was one of my mini drawers of like backup products um that one consisted of like my top coat glue like rhinestone glue um adhesive valves uh primers bonds etc and then that last drawer was just some more tips and then some alcohol pads again that whole rainbow cart is from michael's super cute and then by the way those labels outside of the drawers are not all correct anymore because i redid that whole cart but moving on from that cart to this one over here i have one of my Joe posh collections i have all kind of brands on here mainly madame glam valentino um got some illino supplies some zule some beetles some um just like a lot of different little brands here's my little like small um essential 
just like some wipes, some alcohol pads, nail glue, bands, sanding bands, uh, finger cuts, etc. Some uh, did I say nail glue? Yeah, some nail glue. And then below all of that is this other cart here that I also got from Michaels. Um, this clear one. This one is very, I like this one because it's like, as you can see, um, two columns. So this first drawer, the drawer closest to me is my Swarovski collection, you all. Um, these Swarovskis are super beautiful. I've been building my collection these past six months. And this is what I have so far. I have all kind of colors. I still have a video coming soon for you all on like different, or I will guess I'll do a collection video i'm um, showing you all different colors is what i wanted to colors um shapes and things like that because i know it's hard when you're trying to figure out swarovski i know at least for me it was when i was a beginner trying to figure out different shapes and colors and sizes and things like that um i had no idea i just kind of bought like you know different i just started buying even now like i just started getting different colors i only used to have my a being like um clear crystal but i just recently just started buying a little bit small amount of different colors to see which ones i I liked um and how they actually looked and then i bought the entire collection from there if that makes sense um and then some of them i just won it it's one gonna work y'all i winged it <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying that right and just uh start getting different colors and building my collection this entire swarovski collection is literally from sky beats y'all i love sky beats um their website is linked in the description and you all can use my code portia for savings all right, y'all. So the drawer right below that one is my other or another, not my other, but another charm collection. I'm going to be like, okay, is there more? Yeah, there's a lot, y'all. I think that more than anything, I'm very addicted to like nail art and charm. Y'all told y'all I go charm crazy. Charms and bling and all of that is my favorite part about doing nails if y'all haven't told that already like if y'all can't tell that um so yeah I have a lot I have a bunch of different little collections y'all this is why I always say that I'm not gonna be buying anymore y'all um literally for those of y'all who don't know I do not do other people's nails I'm not a nail tech I've never done other people's nails um I only do my own y'all and this is like everything that I've collected over the years and a lot recently really um but I have a lot from over the years um but I would say like all of this stuff is like from the past year or two literally so anyway um I just have a bunch of little different boxes in this drawer here like little different collections um I have like a little Hello Kitty Karami one and y'all these are just like some like I have Anyway, y'all gonna see. So, and then that little pink box, uh, I didn't show that, but I will put it on the screen because I'm probably gonna be like, girl, I wanna see what's in there. So, I did go ahead and um, film it like after while I was recording this. Um, while I was editing this video, I went ahead and recorded it and put it in there. It's just some other, some more charms, y'all. It's literally just more charms. So, the drawer right below this one is some more like charms and like, um, like little things that I encapsulate in the nails pretty much and just charms for real. Um, you all can pretty much see it's just like a lot of it is like some of it's like flowers, some of it's dried flowers. Um, back there, I have like some female uh fruit slices, like little clay slices. Um, and just some little random things. Pretty much this is like all of my little grid charms. The ones that come in these grids here. Um, some of them. And then I have like some little chains over here. Some little, um, what are those car called? Caviar beads. Y'all know I love a good caviar bead look. Love them to death. I have like some little, like I said, chains. And just a bunch of little charms in here. There in that corner in the left in the very, very back is like some random little charms that I got from Chrissy. Actually, she gave me like some little flower charms and just some other little charms that were in those small little containers. And in that, the back right side, those are a bunch of like little pearl charms. So some of the ones that I have. Um, this next drawer, y'all, is my like raw glitter drawer. I have all of my raw glitter in here. My colored ones, the... All, all of them, y'all. All of them are in here. I have some pixies as well. All of my glitter or... A lot of the ones that are in these like small little tubs are in here. Um, then I have some glitter packs in the back and underneath these little containers. Y'all can't really see them. These little containers that I have inside of the drawers to organize are from Shein. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to tell you all stuff as, as I go as well. But that's why I told you all if you're interested in something particular, um, let me know in the comments so I can link it for you all. Because I'm trying to talk as fast as this video is going so that we can like, move along. Um, so this next drawer is more charms, you all. I got more Karami charms in the back. The ones that I like, kind of in a bag, if that makes sense. The ones that I pour out to put in containers like the just the whole bag or collection of it if that makes sense like all of them and then the front there which we all saw first is uh um like a bunch of my bling that are not uh Swarovski they're just like a bunch of bling that I got from a lot of different places um 
these two drawers at the bottom so there's two drawers on this whole like little cart with these drawers that are deeper um than the rest of them i don't think oh, okay okay i showed it right here you all can see like kind of from the side how deep these drawers ears these drawers are compared to the ones that are on top you see how they're a little bit bigger i really really like that so i can put or fit my bigger things in there so then this last drawer right here on the right side is uh so i have my no displays in there like i said i told you all that i went ahead and put every single charm or pretty much every single charm that i have um that i own on these like little acrylic display things so that i can remember what i have because i forget all of the time like all of the time but this entire drawer here is pretty much another backup drawer of like a whole bunch of different little products um that when i run out of i can just go in this drawer and grab it i hate running out of stuff y'all so bad that's why i have like a lot of backup drawers of products i hate it so much but it's just like everything like bits um sanding bands nail art brushes brushes containers nail glue tweezers cuticle pushers all the type of little supplies that i may need like if i run out of um i just stack those little display things on there because there's no one else there was nowhere else to really put them um so that was that first column of everything that is closest to me while I'm sitting um, on the right side and now the left side of this cart. This first drawer is where I'm going to be building the second part to my Swarovski collection that I couldn't fit in the other drawer. Back there are some random things, some acetone, some um, airbrush nail polish that I bought super long time ago, months ago that I need to open up y'all. Like I literally be buying stuff and just not opening it up but i have to use that for you all and update you all on that this next drawer here are some more of my glitters now these are more like sequin glitters these are all of my sequin glitters um things that i encapsulate into the nail a bunch of hearts mainly hearts y'all i went um heart crazy for like valentine nails like um like over the years um bunch of hearts some snowflakes some flowers just like little glitters that i encapsulate into the nails um mainly hearts though and then on this right side here, I have my painting gels. A lot of them, most of them are from Zule. Shout out to Zule. I love her painting gels. And some of them she had gifted to me. Um, she's so sweet, y'all. But yes, Zule's painting gels. If you haven't tried her golden hour painting gels, like her gold collection of painting gels, you are missing out. Those are like the best painting, gold painting gels I've like come across. They're so beautiful. You all see me use it a lot enough times like a good decent amount of times so yeah that is that drawer this next drawer here are all of my chromes my liquid chromes that some of them need to be shook um they're a little they're separating a little bit because they've been sitting a long time um but my liquid chromes my powdered chromes in the back here are just some random things like some pixies um some like big old bags of like glitter and like mylar flakes and things like that um yeah that's pretty much this drawer and again these little clear organizers i got from shein they're super handy y'all i had i'm an organized person so like literally all my stuff is always organized but it's just a lot of it so it just looks like chaos um but these small little organizers are very helpful with separating like smaller things i love those and again they're from shein and i can link those for you all um this next drawer here is just a bunch of foils not even all of my foils y'all now a crazy crazy part about this is that a lot of my other nail art stuff you're gonna see not all of it i'm not gonna go into detail but a lot of my other nail stuff that i didn't want to um make this like super chaotic because i already have enough stuff in these drawers are i'm starting to build up nail stuff into my storage room y'all that's next to my room it's crazy i'm gonna show y'all a little snippet of it but yeah it's crazy so those are just some of my foils not even all of them um this next drawer here is some other charms now like these are pretty much my little small 3d flower charms um some other little flower charms that i had got um this right here is my book of um nail art stickers um not all of them the rest of them are in that blue one there you all see um but nail art stickers what are those things called like um the decals the water decals and things like that y'all have all type of nail art stickers um majority of my nail art stickers are in that blue one there that blue book but i didn't show you all here but i can insert it on the screen for you all to see just in case you were interested like a couple of little pages um and then in the back there i have a couple of random things another little charm box um some moss i was supposed to do some moss nails and still haven't um and then like some little teddy bear acrylic uh swatch thingies and then in this last drawer here i have my other crystal collection this one is just all of my glass crystals um um, this one was actually the OG crystal collection that I had first, like all of these here. I didn't insert it right here, but I will. I did go ahead and film it right now so y'all can see all of the boxes in case you were interested in seeing them individually. But yeah, it's just my other glass crystal collection. And then in that drawer, I have a couple of other little random things, um, like another drill, my airbrush, um, like some uh other like little tools my little label printer and just like random little things in that drawer um aside that crystal collection 
if y'all can tell already, I'm very big on maximizing my spaces while still keeping it very organized. Um, so that's why you all may see like a couple things in drawers where they may not necessarily quote unquote go. Um, but it goes there if I put it there. So yeah, everything is like pretty compact and still organized. Um, I really just like maximizing and just using all the space that I have. Um, oh, there's my bed making a cameo um, in the mirror or appearance um, in the background. I told y'all this is my room, but I just have my nail area off to the side. So moving on from that side here, um, all of that was like my nail art stuff. And right here, we're moving on to my desk area. Hey, I'm over here waving in the mirror, y'all. When I was filming this, I had on my bonnet and pajamas, but y'all can't really see me like that. But anyway, y'all, so on to my desk, y'all, where the magic happened. So right here, I just pretty much have like my air purifier. I got it from Amazon. It's the one I tell you all about um, all the time. It's pretty inexpensive. It's actually on my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description below always. And then over here off to the left, I have my drill, um, my Melody Susie drill or drills. I have one and then like the little cordless one behind it. Um, I have my drill bits in my drill bit case. I have this mug here that is actually from Zule. She has them on her website. It says clean of everything. And I have her um, adhesive, her activator spray and some gel on top of it from her. Um, it does open up and inside of there I just have some lint-free wipes. I have my monomer dish, my um, favorite acrylic that I use always which is me secrets um cover pink and then right here I have these clear acrylic drawers that I had no idea what to put in there so I just started putting my nails that I pop off inside of there I guess that works um and then I have my pink little jewelry display hand that I put my rings on once I'm done with them that is super cute and then right here is my lamp that I love so much my arch lamp that my sister actually bought for me for my birthday back in September y'all I'm super obsessed I was so ecstatic when she got this for me um, um, so it has three different modes, light modes. You can have it like white, warm, and like really warm, I guess. Um, you can change it and then also like the brightness of it as well. I did get it from Amazon actually, or she got it from Amazon or like she gave me the money to order it basically because she know I wanted it um on Amazon if you all want me to I can link it in my Amazon storefront for you all and then I have this other lamp here that I got also from Amazon y'all again if y'all interested in any single thing that y'all see here there's no gatekeeping over here those of y'all who've been here you know are a part of the family and already know like if you know you know there's no gatekeeping please anything you're interested in please in the comments let me know so that I can link it for you all but yes yeah, so this light right here is also from Amazon it is like um it's a daylight is the company name daylight lamp um it's very long it extends across the whole desk pretty much you can move it like however which way you want to like i love it it also has no i think that's i think it only has one light mode but you can turn it up and down like the brightness back here i have this really cute little pink cinema light box back here that you can spell out any like little words you want to really cute um i have my little wipe dispenser that i put my lint free wipes in i have my phone stand back there i have like some little essentials like um little spray bottle with alcohol my cuticle oil some little just different little things and right here is my cute little chair that I'm obsessed with. I love it so much. I also got from Amazon. I'm not going to be saying everywhere I got everything from. We'll be here all day because I'm trying to talk if y'all can't tell as fast the video is going. Um, but yeah, if you like I said, anything you're interested in, all you have to do is comment it and I will link it. But yeah, my little chair is super comfortable and inexpensive compared to a lot of other chairs that look the same. Um, and then up from there is my wall full of all my beautiful little neon signs, y'all, and my little flower mirrors that I put together, y'all. I'm really proud of how those flowers came out it took me a long time to do them and make those and yeah they are beautiful here's my little nails sign y'all that i put together as well everything was so separately the neon sign the flower background the flowers the butterflies everything was so separately i kind of put it all together i'm like really like arts and crafty and like you know creative if y'all can't really tell like your girl can put something together like make something out of nothing y'all and a lot of things that i have here are from Shein. So like i said all y'all have to do is literally ask or y'all probably can find it yourselves honestly um because it's not that hard to search dif different little things but like i said all you have to do is say the word and i'm linking it all right y'all so then off over here off to the right side is my second gel polish collection and this is all nail house y'all this all of these gels are nail house y'all if y'all don't know me or is new here or can't tell already, I'm obsessed with Nail House. And if y'all couldn't tell before, y'all will be able to tell here in a moment. So here's all of my Nail House gels. Like I have a lot of them, almost probably the whole collection almost. Like there's only a few that I'm missing. Um, and then right here is like all of my like brushes all my nail eyeliner brushes and all of that good stuff y'all those little brushes were irritating me so i had to straighten them um but all of, like all of the tools scissors everything all of my little tools that i use dotting tools everything over there it's off to the side there um 
Okay, and then right here, I want to show y'all real quick, is my mount. So does that look familiar, this angle right here? It looks familiar because that's how, that's my mount and that's how I set you all up when I'm finna film a video, you all. This mount right here, I tell you all all the time, but for those of you who are new, um, it's from Amazon. It was literally like $15. I bought it like two years ago. It's the same mount that I started my YouTube channel with and the same mount that I use today. It's super convenient, super easy, um, super inexpensive. It mounts to the desk very easily. And you just put your phone on there, angle it at however, like, which way you want to angle it. Um, and put your phone right on there, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I know a lot of you all have been asking me to show that for, like, a very long time now. Like, it's literally that simple, um, the mount. And, like, I tell you all the time, it's in my Amazon storefront. Um, right here are, like, my little alcohol and acetone bottles. I have them outlined in, like, different color bling. One's pink bling, that's the alcohol. The other one is clear, like, AB bling. That's acetone. I have to be able to, um, distinguish them. But, yeah, that's that. And then I have my monomer. And then, like I said, I have, like, my cuticle oils, my top coats, my, um, adhesive glues, etc. All of that off to the side there. And, yeah, that's, like, the top of my desk. So that is the view from there. Um, and also, by the way, this desk is from Amazon as well. Super inexpensive. Y'all, literally, I get everything from Amazon. If it's not Amazon, it's Shein or AliExpress. So, the second layer of, um, the desk right here, I have my LED lamp, my dust collector, some acrylics under there that I use, like, my, um, news and clears. I've got some, like, cords going on right there. Like, all my stuff I plug up, the lamps, lights, everything. And then down there, I just have, like, a couple random things. Um, my little pink face mask, um, my barbicide, my neon pigments back there. You can't really see some Q-tips, lint-free wipes, some, my little spray bottle. Um, and then on this side here, I have, like, my little nail art palettes and just, like, little random stuff. My little lotion I like to use for my hands. Alcohol, acetone, my vitamins so that I don't forget because I sit there most of the day. Um, paper towels, more barbicide, um, my little monomer from Nail House. And back there, you can't really see it, but it's a collection of more charms um, that I didn't include, but I went ahead and filmed it, and here they all are. These are charms that I use mainly for, like, my phone cases. I used to make phone cases and sell them. Um, I don't quite anymore. I haven't for a long time, but I think I'm going to start back soon. Um, but yeah, those were all the charms that were on my bottom shelf in the back. You can't really see there. Um, I use them mainly for my phone cases, but I also use them, some of them, for my nails as well. All right, and then going up from there on the right side of my desk are this other, or is this other storage cart with these drawers and with more drawers on top y'all i'm good for, for stacking stuff and drawers but anyway so right here i have my fake little candles i love them i think they're so cute and i can have them lit as long as i want to um behind that is like my little vanity um light led light that i use to like fix my hair whatever look at whatever and then below is my um other gels my last gels of my gels the super small ones they are all like beetles like the Beatles gels from Amazon. Well, it's not from Amazon, but that's where I get them from on Amazon. And then below are my other drawers of acrylics. Y'all thought I, y'all thought that was it? No, I have so much acrylic. It's ridiculous. Like I told y'all, I have more stuff than the nail loss should allow. But anyway, here's my Zule acrylics, y'all. That first drawer was like a lot of my glitter uh, acrylics from her. Um, the second drawer is also some more acrylic glitters, but like more like fall colors. A couple of solid colors in the back. This one here is dynamic. Um, I just got these actually. Shout out to the people who were, um, live when we swatched these. I just swatched all of these dynamic ones that I just got in the mail. Well, not just, but like the other week, like two weeks ago. Um, but yes, dynamic like little fall colors and some, um, loose raw glitters. Then I have their other glitters all in this drawer. All of my other just glitters, like summer glitters, things like that in this drawer from Dynamic Nail Supply. I love that brand so much, y'all. I love all these brands. All the acrylics that I own, pretty much. Um, the only one that I don't love so much is Royalty Nail Supplies. Got them a long time ago and I just still have them. But anyway, more dynamic, um, my solid summer colors. And then this drawer right here is more dynamic, but they're pink and nudes. And all six of those clear and white drawers you all just saw me open are two different drawers that I stacked on top of each other that I stacked on top of this card that I actually got from Michaels. But those clear and white drawers are drawers that I got from ages ago that I started out with, like, with all of my nail supplies in from Walmart. Y'all, I'm a very frugal girl, and I'm, like, picky on how I spend my money. Like, I like to maximize it and get, like, a bang for my buck. So, yeah, I got those. Those are super inexpensive, and if it's not broke, don't fix it. I feel like all of these storage units are very inexpensive. It's not, like, no very, like, fancy, bougie, none of that. Like, it's very inexpensive to anybody who um, is looking for, like, storage. So, yeah. Yeah. When I bought those clear and white drawers years ago, those storage drawers, um, they come in different um, sizes as well. Those are just the smaller ones. But um, when I bought them, they were really inexpensive then. They are a little bit more expensive now because y'all know everything has gone up. But um, 
I will show you all how I had like everything in those drawers in the beginning. I'll insert a photo on the screen of how it really started before even before I reorganized my space to this now, like before, before. Um, but yeah, I use those drawers for everything, like literally everything. I recommend them for people who are just like, you know, starting out looking for like super inexpensive storage, like it works um unless you want to be like super bougie then that's cool but your girl's not i was not in the beginning and i'm still not i still am not right now your girl just needs stuff that works is efficient and is not breaking my pockets and back then those little storage drawers worked for me and now i really like the ones the storage cart drawers from michael's so yeah anyway moving on to this next cart here i have all of my nail house um or some of my y'all you would think that this whole cart is all my nail house but it's not anyway this is the majority of my nail house collection open and in use old and new hence the old packaging but um oh by the way the first two drawers of this cart was like my nail files buffers sanding bands bits um all that good stuff second drawer was my nail house tips all of my backup nail house tips um all of my um backup and unopened kalinsky brushes from nail house and then all of these are my nail house acrylics they're nudes they're pinks they're summer colors um i have a lot of their old collection hence the like i said old packaging i've been shopping the nail house forever and i've been ambassador for them forever um so yeah these are all of my nail house acrylics and then the reason why i said these are the ones that are open and in use is because remember when I told y'all I was stacking products in my storage room next to my room with no products now because I cannot fit everything in there so here it is here is my little shelf with all of my unopened and backup unused um, nail house acrylics all of my covers the colors everything y'all I know it's crazy but y'all I told y'all I'm addicted like I'm not making it up and it's not really funny like I'm, I'm not making a joke of it I really am addicted to like nails and like nail stuff um I'm gonna get it together I've been slowly getting it together I really sound like a real addict at least I tell y'all this all the time at least it's something that's not like hurting nobody you know what I'm saying it's not a bad addict or addiction and I know I'm not alone that's why I be telling y'all all the time at least we ain't hurting nobody you know what I'm saying like I know there's people out here who are just like this like um probably not as bad as me but we're nail addicts and it's okay we're not hurting anyone but yeah all of mine um unopened unused backup nail house acrylics i even have some acrylic creamery over there that's unopened and unused y'all and when i say i'm open unused they're all duplicates of what i already have duplicates or triplicates or whatever of what i already have y'all um and then i have like some a bunch of like charms and stuff in my phone cases and all other drawers i have like my little package and stuff that i ship out my press ones um and in all those other boxes over there y'all this is my storage room with the other stuff and then if i turn around you'll see even more nail stuff and but it's a mess all over the rest of it so that's why i didn't show that um but like just a bunch of stuff y'all a bunch of nail stuff anyway moving on this last drawer here has some random stuff like my some more face masks some um finger cuts just like some random stuff and i want to say also y'all to my defense oh here's a close-up of um my little mirrors that i with my flowers that i made um but to my defense i want to say that the reason why I have like a lot of product and backups of things that I already have is because I'd be afraid that, you know, I've had times where like my favorite products like go out of stock and never come back and things like that. And just because like I get paranoid, like what if I just never can get it again? So I get a lot of my favorite things, y'all, and it just happens to be a lot. I'm not a like hoarder or like, you know, and also I also want to mention that I give away a lot of my stuff as well, y'all. Like I give away a lot. I'm currently putting together boxes of things I need to give away. Um... I already have like people for it. I already have some giveaways scheduled. Um, so just yeah, don't judge me, okay? And I ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> All right, so the people who were on the live the other week, I was telling you all that I would show you all my Christmas tree that I had put in my room when it came and when I put it up. So here it is, y'all. And y'all know I don't celebrate holidays, but however, for those of y'all who know, you know, whenever I do like winter and Christmas nails, I love to have a tree in the background to take pictures, like of my nose in front of, like for the whole vibes and the whole look. Um, I always have like a mini one, but this time I decided to get like a big one. So this is how it looks, y'all. It's pink and it's cute, y'all. Literally, I'm becoming obsessed with pink. Um, um, if, if y'all can't tell, but it's so cute, y'all. Freaking love it. And I had such fun putting it together. It's not done yet, but it's pretty much done. I just gotta add a couple little more things, like a skirt and just like a couple few more things. But yeah, y'all, that is it. And yeah, that is my no like setup space tour i hope you all enjoyed it um oh also the tree the christmas tree was from timu actually and i thought it was pretty interesting when i saw it it was pretty inexpensive like 60 dollars or so um yeah super cute and yeah i just hope you all enjoyed this video um if you did give your girl a thumbs up i really enjoyed sharing this with you all um i know it's long awaited but yeah it's here y'all the wait is over it's here so give the video a thumbs up 
comment in the comment section maybe your like favorite parts um comment as well please don't forget if there's anything at all you're interested in that you saw in this video please let me know in the comment section if there's a link i will link it um in the description we do not gatekeep over here whatsoever y'all already know that for the people who are new and don't know that already i'm letting you know we do not gatekeep over here love if you got a question comment it and you'll be answered i look i look and answer all the comments as well like whenever i do see them um but yeah y'all this is my space this is where the magic happens i hope you all enjoyed i think this is the cutest little like nail space and dopest little space ever um it's my little safe place y'all it's my safe place my happy place which is what's what is on my little um cinema light box so yeah y'all subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more bomb content like this and nail content because y'all i'm not playing like your girl is back and i'm not playing i'm about to come with it this month with the content um and yeah make sure that your bell notifications are turned on so that you're notified each and every single time that i post a new video and sometimes you gotta check because youtube be playing with the girl and not sending y'all notifications but yeah y'all thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now Together with you